hearty Happy New Year to our astute viewers. As we step into the promising expanse of a new year, our financial compass guides us to the heartbeat of our favorite dividend-yielding investment, REITs. Now, while many analysts are buzzing about their top picks for 2024, today marks our first video of the year, and we're steering in a slightly different direction. Amidst the optimism, it's crucial to shine a light on the shadows. So, in this premiere episode of the year, let's shift our gaze to Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust, or MPACT. Beyond the accolades and applause, we're delving into the less explored territories, the risks that lurk in the corridors of one of Singapore's colossal REITs. Join us as we dissect the two biggest risks and challenges that Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust faces in the unfolding chapters of 2024. First big risk, operational performance of Festival Walk. Festival Walk, nestled in the heart of Hong Kong, is a pivotal asset in MPAC's portfolio, accounting for 26% of its assets. However, the storm clouds gathered from the 2019 to 2020 Hong Kong protests. Festival Walk was targeted by some protesters who caused extensive damage and had to be closed for a few months. Following that, COVID restrictions on movements continued to impact Festival Walk. Fast forward to Q3 2023, the mall has not quite recovered. The negative rental reversion of minus 9.5% in Q3 2023 cast a shadow, highlighting the challenges this retail gem faces. Several challenges contributed to a dip in shopper traffic in more recent times, and a slowdown in tenant sales growth for Festival Walk. Let's explore some of them. Broader Hong Kong Retail Challenge Ways Understanding Festival Walk's challenges necessitates a glance at the broader context of Hong Kong's economic and social dynamics. The aftermath of social unrest and COVID restrictions, coupled with the slow economic recovery and impact of inflation on consumers' budget, adds layers of uncertainty. In addition, while it seems that the return of mainland Chinese tourists to Hong Kong has helped, the spending habits of these tourists are not been as strong as expected. For Festival Walk, which caters more to domestic consumers, in a market increasingly influenced by cross-border shopping by Hong Kong consumers in Xinjiang means it is losing local spending dollars to mainland China. Strategic measures maintained full occupancy at expensive rental rates. The REIT management seemed to be focusing on keeping full occupancy Festival Walk which is a credible target, occupancy at 100%, showcases resilience amid adversity. But this is incredibly challenging given that the tenant retention rate is only 57.5%. At the same time, the management is steering efforts to optimize the tenant mix at Festival Walk, aligning it more closely with local preferences. While this strategic maneuver aims to rejuvenate shopper interest and revitalize Festival Walk as a key retail destination in Hong Kong, the managers had to reduce rentals, resulting in the close to 10% decline in rental reversions. Navigating Typhoon Haikui's Fallout As if the macroeconomic conditions are not enough, Typhoon Haikui, a force of nature, took its toll on Festival Walk. Shopper traffic dipped by 1.4% year-on-year in 2QFY24 creating a ripple effect on tenant sales growth, which slowed to plus 3.7% year-on-year. This natural calamity disrupted the immediate operational dynamics but also exposed Festival Walk. Now, the critical question arises, will the challenges faced by Festival Mall continue to keep a lid on Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust's overall performance? Keep that question in mind as I disclose my views later in the discussion. Second big risk, currency dynamics unveiled. In the realm of global investments, understanding the dynamics of currencies is akin to deciphering a language. For Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust, the spotlight now turns to the RMB, HKD, JPY and how they interact with the SGD. Recall that other than Festival Walk accounting for 26%, Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust's assets also consist of 10% in China, and another 8% in Japan. HKD tied to USD amid interest rate concerns. The Hong Kong dollar, pegged to the USD, faces its set of challenges. Declining interest rate expectations in the US in 2024, is expected to weaken the HKD. This financial symbiosis places Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust in the cross-currents of global economic decision. RMB's lingering weakness. The Chinese economic landscape has been marked by headwinds, with local consumption yet to fully rebound, and threats from international trade. The Chinese RMB, tethered to these economic currents, is expected to bear the weight of this weakness. 
China's property sector stress further exacerbates the situation, creating spillover effects on Chinese consumers through the wealth effect. JPY's low interest policies seem to be entrenched. The weak Japanese yen or JPY needs no introduction. Most of us have, or know friends visiting Japan during the holidays and came back with exclamations of how cheap things are in Japan. This is a result of the Japanese government keeping interest rates low throughout the years, and doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon. Income from 44% of its assets under Forex stress. While the RMB and HKD grapple with their respective challenges, the Singapore dollar or SGD stands resilient. The strength of the SGD, in part, is attributed to Singapore's strategic economic positioning and prudent fiscal policies. This provides a major source of stress for Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust distribution outlook. Even if the operational performance for these properties remained constant, the declining currencies will lower distribution for investors. For dividend investors, this is definitely concerning. The dividend uncle's take on Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust. Now, let's dive into the heart of the matter and explore what truly counts my perspective on Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust in the face of these two major risks. Festival Walk, stability of Singapore assets provides the backbone for eventual recovery. As the dividend uncle, I approach this challenge with a measured perspective. Festival Walk's negative rental reversion and the aftermath of Typhoon Haikui are short-term hiccups. While they undoubtedly impact immediate financial metrics, I continue to have faith in the management of Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust, and its sponsor in Maple Tree Investments to make things right, but, and this is a big but for investors, the recovery for them all will definitely take time and patience. Long-term vision amid short-term challenges. Festival Walk, is strategically positioned in a key market. While some Hong Kong shoppers are now shopping in Shenzhen, China, I believe Festival Walk can continue to do well. Just think of our suburban malls such as Causeway Point, while some shoppers may choose to cross over to Johor and Malaysia for shopping trips because it is cheaper, they will continue to patronize Causeway Point just because it is more convenient for daily necessities and meeting friends over coffee. Festival Walk presents an opportunity for the management and its sponsor, Maple Tree Investments, to showcase its ability to adapt and innovate. The optimization of tenant mix and ongoing enhancement initiatives reflect a commitment to long-term success. To me, this feels like short-term pain to endure, for longer-term gains. In the meantime, the Singapore assets like Vivacity will provide the stability in the RIAT. Currency risk, part and parcel of portfolio diversification. Navigating the intricate landscape of foreign exchange impact on distributions requires a Zen perspective, at least according to the dividend uncle. For me, Forex risk is an intrinsic aspect of venturing into international investments, a crucial move for the sake of diversification. The ebb and flow of foreign exchange rates follow their own cycles, occasionally bolstering a RIAT's performance while acting as a drag in other seasons. Admittedly, there might be instances of prolonged downward trends in foreign exchange rates, I was reminded my by friends that the USD Singapore dollar exchange rate used to be 1.70, and now it is closer to 1.30. Yet, it's the dual nature of this phenomenon. I understand investors' apprehension to currency risks. I too, feel the pain when distributions decline despite excellent operational performance. For the Chinese economy, I don't think it is the start of the long-term decline. For the JPY, the narrowing interest rate differential with the rest of the world will mitigate the drop. Investor strategy amid short-term volatility. Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust is a top-tier REIT, it boasts a diverse portfolio, a robust sponsor, and promising growth avenues. The numbers add resonance to its allure, a modest price-to-net asset value ratio of 0.89 and a generous 5.9% dividend yield. The Q4 2023 REITs rally means that these figures are off their historical lows. While the figures are back to one-year averages, they are still attractive from the longer-term perspective of three years. For investors, it is crucial to understand that the risks discussed might lead to short-term volatility in Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust share price and dividend distribution. For investors with a strategic, long-term perspective, keeping a keen eye on potential buying opportunities during short-term downturns is crucial. However, given the prevailing challenges, I strongly advocate incorporating a substantial margin of safety into your investment approach. As a committed long-term investor, 
I maintain a vigilant watch over how the management adeptly maneuvers through these challenges, meticulously assessing the efficacy of their strategic initiatives at Festival Walk. My confidence in the management is steadfast, yet this does not translate into unquestioning acceptance of their decisions. I will continue to assess this read actively, and will share my insights with you. So subscribe, and stay tuned. Conclusion As we navigate the terrain of short-term volatility in Maple Tree Pan-Asia Commercial Trust's performance, the call for a measured approach echoes. A vigilant eye on management's strategic prowess is essential, tempered with a judicious margin of safety. This is the compass for investors with a strategic, long-term outlook, for whom short-term dips become not just challenges but opportunities in disguise. In closing, as we step into the future, may your investments be guided by wisdom, foresight, and the unwavering belief that within every challenge lies the potential for growth.